rock star cartoonist by Michael Lyons. I watch the ripples change in size, but never leave the stream of warm impermanence. So the days flow through my eyes, but still the days seem the same, just the same, quite the same. Changes. David Bowie. Rockstar Cartoonist by Michael Lyons. I now know what I want to do with my life. The guy who draws High and Lois is being interviewed on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, and I'm seriously considering becoming a cartoonist. I can draw better than that. Even though this could mean not becoming, even though this could be me not becoming the next Elvis Presley, I start a strip called Wilbur. Interesting how much, how much he just happens to look like this guy. 1982. No more Mr. Nice Guy. No more Mr. Clean. People say my hair looks like Rick Springfield's but I was going for more of a Ziggy Stardust style without coloring it. Lenny and I ride our 10 speeds around a lot. We clear out an area in the woods to build fires and have a private place to smoke and drink. He's not as into D&D &D or comics as I am, but he loves all-star wrestling, and I've got him listening to Kiss now. In the summer, the Baptist Church tells us not to come back to their program because they suspect Lenny and I are only there for the arts and crafts. You boys better just be moving on now, you hear? Okay, dude. It's true. Lenny is crazy about wood burning, and I was just getting into making belts. With more time on our hands, Lenny and I decide to break into a number of summer homes along the lake. At the, Andersons, Lenny, at the Andersons, Lenny and I take bottles of schnapps, cherry vodka, rum, and whiskey along with anything useful we can find for our campsite. At the first sign of suspicion, I cave and confess everything to my grandparents. I'll never forget my grandpa's reaction. I don't care what everybody says. I know you're a good kid. 1983. Here in my car, I can drive safe, safest of all. You, if you lock all my doors, it's the only way to live. In cars. My first real girlfriend, Deanna, is crying. In between sobs, she tells me she loves me, then asks me if I love her too. What else could I say? Highway run into the midnight sun. Of course I do. Please stop crying. Wheels go round and round. One afternoon, in a moment of boredom, I call up Deanna and break up with her. It's just not working out. 24 hours later. Let's get back together. Too late, Michael. I'm a starter on the A-team now. Yesterday, our coach, Mr. Evenmo, was so out of control that the refs had to re eject him from the game. When we got down to the locker room, he was waiting for us with a can of athlete's foot spray in his hands. Arrgh! When he threw it against the lockers, white foam erupted from the side and sent the can spinning across the floor. I was just glad he didn't hit me with it. 1984. Loving like children, Living like lovers, rolling like thunder, under the covers. I'm drawing Kiss every day now. It's almost embarrassing. My best friends are David and Lenny. On the night of the first snow, we go to a play at the high school in Walker, and I meet Karen Morris. She's short, cute, and a little nerdy. She laughs at everything I say. It takes about 30 seconds to fall for her. Within a week, we're saying I love you to each other. Every time we talk, she has a retainer, and when we kiss for a long periods of time, spit gets all over our chins. 
I don't mind at all. After months of making out in my parents' Chevy Impala, we have sex for the first time in Karen's bedroom. Uh, that's not it. There you go. Finally secure in my heterosexuality. I start wearing eyeliner. Nineteen eighty five, and I guess that's why they call it the blues. Karen breaks up with me for a wrestler from another school. I stop watching all star wrestling forever. I get my ear pierced and am, and am immediately benched from playing basketball. I'm more afraid of Evamo than I let on and quit halfway through the season. The new kid from Texas teaches me how to play more than a feeling on the guitar, and I reconsider becoming a rock star. Brent, David, Lenny, and I are getting drunk every weekend now. Brent's really good looking, so we're finally seeing some girls at these parties. I discover the one night stand philosophy of love and decide to model my life after the teachings of Paul Stanley. We've got tomorrow, or we've got tonight. Who needs tomorrow? We've got tonight, babe. Why don't you take off your shirt and let me see what's going on down there? My new rock star persona is a, is a surprisingly effective way at getting girls and ruining their self-esteem at the same time. I ride out the rest of the school year in a semi-drunken depression while my hair becomes long and cool looking. 1986. You know I'm a dreamer, but my heart's of gold. I had to run away high so I wouldn't come home low. If I had read the brochure, I would have realized that graphic arts at the St. Cloud Area Vocational Technical Institute doesn't mean graphic novels. You mean this has nothing to do with comics? No kid, this is about getting a real job. Brent and I live in a tiny dorm room together, drinking beer and playing guitar. People gather around our window to hear us butcher popular songs. We're going off the rails on a crazy train. I'm learning about offset printing presses and darkroom procedures that will be obsolete in five years. Ka -chung, ka -chung, ka -chung. I also learned the joys of taking long drunken walks around the park at night. What do I really want out of life? I want to rock! Rock! One night, I put on my Paul Stanley persona and follow Janet back to her room. If I said you had a beautiful body, would you hold it against me? Come on in. We make love regularly for a few months until she graduates and moves away. I am such a phony by this time that she leaves without ever knowing how I really feel about her. I even let her suspect that I had other girlfriends for some stupid reason. 